everyone. Um, next, I'm going to show how, for this video, how to get this variable uh, feature, this variable fillet. Um, it's, it's a little bit more straightforward um, because this is just flat, so it's pretty easy. Um, and then after you do that, you cut out this de these details um, afterwards. So I'll show how to get this right on too. Okay, so front plane. Um, wait, let's show this. This, we're going to offset this surface in um, to work too. You could also create a plane because it's flat. I'm just doing this because it's what I usually end up doing. Um, I don't have my calipers or the product, or I have my calipers, but not the product. Um, so I'm just guesstimating, uh, students, you're going to use your calipers to get that depth. So that's now this is hiding, um, inside there's this plane to work off of. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep this solid while we work. Um, because then it's just a different way of working. We're going to make a copy of a surface. So make a copy, you go to offset surface, and then you just do zero. There's not a copy and then select this surface, click OK, and then we could just hide the solid body. Now we've got our inset and our outer um, surfaces. So I'm going to hide these real quick so I can just see this. Go to the front um, plane uh, and front sketch spline. Let's see here. So this is curved. I'm going to trim out um, this outer uh, edge first. I'm going to build it without those fillets. Um, I can't see really well, so you guys need to make sure you get better pictures to work off of. Escape. Doing spline, so I can add a little bit of that curve. It's not a lot, just a little bit um, for that. Hit escape, and then I'm building past kind of where these two meet is where I'm going to. Hit escape. And I'll adjust as we go. Some of these are just um, offset in a set amount. I'll have to adjust that. And then there's this fillet is wider right here and comes in. Or this chamfer, sorry. Splines for the whole thing so that I can adjust because it's a little bit, it's not totally flat. Again, you'll have better pictures to work off of. That looks good. I think that, that one's pretty straight. This one's pretty straight. Okay, I think that's not bad. Okay, so now we've got that. We are going to add fillets to this now. Oh, that was lucky. <laughs> it kind of matches right up. So we want to make sure, yeah, that looks good. That might be a little tight. I'm just going to, or a little bit, I'm going to leave it. You guys can adjust for yours. Let's show the surfaces again. So we are now going to surface, trim surface, and then we want this outer edge because it's our uh, main edge. So keep, and now we have that, and there's a hole, and then we've got our recessed edge. So let's, um, oops, on the front plane, sketch. And we are going to hide our surfaces again. I'll just hide both of them. What the heck? Okay. And then, hmm, trying to think. So you can see here, this is just offset, 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 offset. I think it's the same. Um, so, to the show and then we'll see what it looks like we'll do this 
one, nope, 0.75. You're going to use your calipers again. Make sure you're doing it right. 0.7. This fillet's okay. That's looking good. That's not, so it's bigger there. So we're going to not do that. And that's not right. So we'll just do that. And then off, oops, nope. Offset for this, let's say it's 0.75, maybe. One, yeah. Oops. Just gonna, um, we'll have to add, and then this is variable. Okay, so we'll add a fillet in there, and then we're gonna hand draw these. I'm going to grab this and pull, I can pull it back, pull it back here. You're going to have, you keep saying you're going to have better images. And we'll add that fillet in after. I'm looking at where this is going to come down. I'll just build past it and then trim. I don't want any relations. I'm going to build past and drag that other board and trim. I'm looking at that edge. I'm looking at this edge to make sure it kind of matches up. And I'm going to pull this out and then trim. Trim. Okay, and then fillets. See what these need to be. That's too big. Like five, maybe? Yeah. We need the fillets on for building the surfaces. So they are going to be smaller because it's set inside. That's too small. That's too small. Um, point. Six five. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, so now we've got our sketch here. Let's show this. And then surface, we're going to keep this bottom. Keep there. So now we've got this. This is definitely too deep, but we can, I'll show you how to adjust that. <laughs> it looks pretty deep. Um, for this feature, but um, that's okay. So then what you're going to do is pretty straightforward. You can do boundary surfaces from here. Click here. Click here. Done. We're just going to go around and get these edges, and then we'll get the... Um, it's the same thing as what we did for this outer edge. Or for the other, there was an, another... There we go. So if you select over here and then over here, it'll twist it. Um, so just select around the same area. And then we're not getting, um, oops. Here we go. So we're doing these flat parts and not these um, fillets uh, because SolidWorks 
it would have a hard harder time making those uh, work. So we're just going to do it like this because it's a little bit easier. It's more consistent. Maybe takes a, a second longer up front, but better along. I'm going to make these tangent, these edges, because they flow through. And tangent means you don't get a crease. It means it rolls right off. So we're going to do that. Um, you can do a filled surface too. So for these boundary surfaces, you can do four edges. So it's the two right across from each other and the other two. And then these ones are tangent because it's that flowing surface. Boundary surface. Tangent. Boundary surface. Tangent. Like those. These ones. Almost done. This one's like super quick. All right, these guys are tangent. When you get into really complicated um, surfacing, boundary surfaces um, can do a lot. They're really powerful. You just always want to make sure to make things tangent because there's no polishing anything out. Um, creases will show up in your tooling. Um, and you don't want to think to yourself for rendering that you can just Photoshop it out because it never works very well. Okay, so now I've got a nice, look at that, it's perfect. We don't need this outer surface anymore. That was just for, um, uh, we'll just hide it. And then we're going to knit these surfaces together. And so we know it's not knit because there's blue edges. So then they're going to be one, one body instead of all these different bodies. So now I've got just one body here and I've got this solid. So what I can do is I can use this surface body. I don't want to see this tree, this surface body to cut with surface. So we're going to flip it because we want to cut out this direction. And voila, there it is. Next thing to remember is right away, grab these guys, right click, delete. You don't want to hold on to those surfaces. They're still there too. If you need them, you can always edit that and then not do it. <laughs> but now it's just, because if you don't do that, I'll show you what happens. When you click on it, there'll be this. That means you have double surfaces. So you want to delete those. So now we've got this. You can just mirror this feature over um, if it's on both sides. I believe it is not on the other side on this product. Um, and then once you have that, then let's see. Okay, let's hide this. Now you can go in um, front sketch. You can cut this out. You can just do a really simple, um, you're going to use your calipers. I'm going to keep saying that. <laughs> Everyone needs to use their calipers. You can add your fillets in now or later. I'm eyeballing. And then you would build in draft, of course, for this, right? Feature extrude cut. Draft outward, because the tooling's going in. Direction two, draft outward. Great. Look at that. There it is. And then you can do the same thing, but I'll show you how to do this side. Um, 
So what we're going to do is front sketch. And then remember there is this cutout here that looks like it's it's got some thickness there I think this image is taking taking an angle so that's why we're seeing that so let's assume that's what's happening there it's not a fade so what you do is in your sketch convert 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 okay and then we're gonna hide this that way we're using this edge and then we're gonna draw in this line you're gonna be using your calipers to make sure all of this is the correct thickness from here to here this we're gonna trim there add fillets in Five, six, and then feature extrude cut, draft outward. Oh, wait, show your model. It was hidden. There you go. So, oh, because that draft. See, it doesn't line up. So what I would do then I'll show you a trick. Um, okay, so we're going to delete this feature yes and then we're going to actually shift because this happens um right click on this you can edit sketch plane we're going to have it go to this yep so now it'll be right on here and not in the middle and then i can extrude cut and have it go in we're going to add draft but it's going to be going in which is great and we're going to have it go up to um, vertex which is going to be the front plane oh it's not going to let me do that yeah up to the surface the front plane will only go in halfway so now you still have the draft it's getting narrower as it goes inside to the middle but it's staying on this edge and then you'll just mirror that feature over. Okay. All right. And then add your fillets and we'll at, wait until you get this feature in the bottom to add your fillets. That'll be in the next video.